Yeah, you too. Thanks okay, for John, uh, Justin Abdicator has just made his way from the dressing room and uh, high-fiving with everybody out here. All this gang uh, looking like they're ready to rock and roll. Come here for a second, Abby. Yeah. Uh, this game of hockey uh, has presented a lot of pleasurable moments for all of us over the years, uh, our families, our kids, uh, our relatives, and everybody else. And this group here, we're all here about uh, hockey is for everybody. Um, and I talked to a little bit of the coaches. I said... I guess the drills aren't really much different than for any of us in this game. It is for everybody, but uh, with the different groups that you've got, I guess you, you manufacture your drills would be a little bit different for each group wherever you're in. Yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, you know, hockey is for everyone. It's a great initiative uh, the NHL puts on. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to see, um, you know, everyone out here today. And, you know, obviously, you know, there's there's going to be all different types of levels that, that kids kids are playing at. So you, you structure your practices accordingly. But, uh, you know, it's just part of, you know, getting, getting the kids out there, you know, each and every day and giving them the opportunity to play and enjoy the game that's given us all so much. Do you remember... Uh, when you were knee high to a grasshopper and uh, <laughs> just kind of banging around like like we all did, kind of you know on your ankles a little bit, but uh, just struggling and playing the game and playing hard and having lots of smiles. Oh my gosh, uh, hockey's you know given us all so much, but you know I fell in love with the game originally playing outside, which uh, I think some of the guys uh, in our room have as well. And uh, you know I, it was it was a struggle at first for sure. I was pushing the chair around the ice quite a bit, and uh, I'll never forget my first goal. Actually, I have my puck from uh, 19. 93 in my room still um, <laughs> I remember the goal and how excited my teammates were and you know once you got that first goal I was like gosh that feeling so great I want to do it again and uh, just just a great team sport I think I think the best team sport out there and uh, I've, I've had so many great relationships along the way uh, so many great experiences with my family you know on road trips and hotels um, and you know I've, I've formed some of my best friends throughout uh, throughout the process okay so let's uh, let's move over here we'll start uh, down to our right, and uh, we'll start with uh, with the young ladies uh, who are playing this game uh, just like the guys do. And uh, let me get this right: it is Tim, and is it Van Van Eckout? Van Eckout, okay. Who's the head coach of the Little Caesars U16 girls team? Tim, welcome. Uh, introduce the girls and uh, talk a little bit about you uh, practicing uh, with girls and the way you do it. Sure. Um, I have two of our four. Uh, co-captains with us this year. Um, this is Vanessa Stamper. She's our captain. And then I have uh, Morgan Knightsky, who is uh, an associate captain. And uh, Sophie and Gia are at home tonight. They didn't, uh, we were only able to bring two, so I couldn't bring all four of them. But uh, <laughs> um, the, uh, basically the girls game and the guys game is, it's the same game. Uh, the difference is we can't open ice hit or can't body check, but we can board pin and um, you can play through the puck and have body contact. Um, that's really the only difference between the, the girls' game and the, and the guys' game as far as we're concerned. Okay, defense or forward? Forward, forward. Okay, two forwards here. Moving down the line. You guys ready to do some drills? Uh, you like your coach? Yeah, a little bit. Bad question. <laughs> okay, bad question. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's go to, uh, who do we have here? We've got three three gangs in the left. We've got the Motor City Stars. And our coach, how do you pronounce your name, coach? Kokuba. Co Kokuba. Yes, Tom, Tom <laughs> Kokuba uh, is the head coach. And introduce uh, your two players here today, We've Tom. We've got easy names for you here. we got Brittany Jagosinski, and we have Travis Weinrock. Okay. What, posi what position are they? They play all positions. Okay. It's like a rover all over there. Right. Wherever you want to go, you go. Well, no, we have set positions, but they they place a wing one okay. time, defense another time. So we're, everything but goalies, we are our goalies are set. But, have, we, but we move them around so they can learn all positions. I'd have to say that you and I probably have, have played a little bit rover in our day. <laughs> wherever, you go wherever wherever the coach says you shouldn't go. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a lot of times you're rovering on the ice, but uh, it's good, you know, for kids at this level to play all different types of positions. I, I started as a defenseman and, uh, you know, moved up to forward. But uh, being able to play all positions, even goalie, I played goalie until uh, my buddy starts shooting off my head, and I was like, that's enough. I'm done with that. <laughs> you so. and me both. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, you, you enjoy skating? Yes. You ready to skate tonight? Yes. Okay, and you're a skater as well? Yes, too. You like skating backwards or forwards? Uh backwards really oh, so wow. you'd be you better be a better defenseman good luck <laughs> on your drills tonight Thank okay you. we're moving down here to the sled hockey team and our coach here is matt fleming that good matthew or matt either way, either way. okay and introduce you got three players with you tonight who we got, we got jenna 
Haley and Alex with us today. Okay. And uh, positions. How about uh, any specific position you'd like uh, to put no, the gang in or no? We're just getting started out. We're a new uh, team, so we're kind of practicing, getting everybody fit in, getting them, having them learn the basics of the game still. And, uh, yeah, they rotate positions when we do scrimmages. So they'll play sometimes offense, and then we'll move them back to defense. And how, how, how about the ages for these guys? Roughly, what are they? We range. Our team, we have kids young as three years old up until I think our oldest is uh, 14. Okay. And I don't see any pucks on the ice, Abby. Do you? Uh, uh, we'll we'll find some. Do we get any pucks? We got a bag oh, of pucks. Yeah. Okay. We got a bag of pucks. We're in good shape. Okay. Uh, question, would, which, uh, which group would like to... Uh, to start off by uh, doing some drills. Uh, uh, I'm getting some direction from back, but I can't really hear what's going on. Oh, you guys already know your positions? Why don't you go ahead and take your positions and we'll go from there, okay? Let's rock and roll. Back and over. That's in front of the net, okay? In front of the net, yep. Okay, so we got the girls down here uh, to the right of uh, where Riddick was in the third period. And uh, just before we get to that, uh, Abby, uh, God, you guys had lots of chances in that third period to tie that game before the empty netter. Yeah, we did. You know, Riddick, uh, you got to give him credit. Um, you know, he, he played really well and made some big saves down the stretch. And that's, you know, that's what it takes on a nightly basis. You know, you get uh, goaltending like that that can turn turn momentum in a game. I know you had one where uh, the puck came to you in front of the net there. You, you got kind of interfered with and cross-checked after the play as well. But uh, just a hair short of getting a pretty good scoring uh, chance. Yeah, yeah. Was, I, I was actually trying to pull it to my backhand. A couple sticks kind of whacked the puck. Yeah. And then I had to kind of, I was forced on my forehand there. But, uh, yeah, you just want to get around that net. That's where that's where the goals go in and try to create some havoc. And that's where the traffic's going to be. There's lots of trouble there, too. So yeah. good stuff on that. Okay. All right, uh, Tim, let's uh, tell me what you're, uh, you're talking Let me get over behind Tim so I can get the mic on him, if I can do that, and uh, tell me a little bit about what, you're, what you work with these guys. What, how, you, how, you, how are you allowing them to cheat? What are you teaching them to cheat? <laughs> well, it's, it's a little hard because the officiating at our level changes from day to day, so some, some officials are a little more lenient <laughs> than others. Um, but in general, what we want our centermen to do is to make sure that before they come into the face-off circle that all of our, all, all their teammates are set. We want to make sure that they know what the intended play is, which direction the puck is going to move, make sure the goalie's ready to go, and then our center will come in. Obviously, the way the lines are on the ice, we want our center to make sure they straddle the line and do as much work as they can to take up as much of the circle as they can. So these two are basically fighting for this space, and we want to be as intimidating as we can in this space. So we okay. want our centermen to take up as much room as possible. So, so you guys are going to be really trying to win the draw, right? Yep. No, no faking it here. No faking it. No faking it. Oh, no, 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 no. No faking it. Let's go. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Now, that was pretty. That's a 50 50, right? But that's where you need help, Abby. It's Let me huge. reach over to you. Yeah, so it's that's huge. where you need help from your line mates on a 50 50 like that, right? It's huge. So, you know, in, in the D zone, that's your defenseman. But, you know, offensively, that's your forward. And, you know, you really want to, you know, win that edge battle. And, uh, you know, as wingers, you know, I, I play wing, but as wingers, we're trying to kind of cheat in that circle as much as we can without getting our center kicked out. So uh, those are those are huge. If you have a 50 50 puck, I think it's a good job. By it the ain't center. bad. Yeah, you it didn't is. lose good it. Job. Go ahead, guys. Okay. All right, that's All right. okay. Well, uh, did you apologize for winning that draw? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you cheat? That a girl. Uh -huh. You won the draw. That was good. Okay. Oh. All right. Another yeah. another 50-50? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. These guys are these guys are bearing down pretty good here. That's yeah, a good I would say stuff. Yeah, really good, yeah. Especially on their offside. You know, for me, you know, if I'm coming in on my offside, you know, as a lefty, 
And let's let's say there's another lefty there. I'm really just trying to come in and, and tie up as much as I can and then yeah. get over the puck. And that's where you're trying to create lever, rev, leverage as much as possible. And I think anytime you're coming in on a faceoff, as much as you can cheat and try to get your head over the dot, you're going to have more leverage. I know the, the ref isn't always going to allow it, but uh, as much as you can get, get over the dot, you can get that extra leverage. You don't sure. want to be on your heels either, do you? No, you want to be on your toes as yeah. much as possible. Okay. And I, I really, you know, you really, a lot of times, uh, I know in other sports they say low man wins, but, you know, if you can really get low as much as possible, and I'm coming in, I'm just trying to tie up there. It's a good face off by you, but I'm just trying to tie up as much as I can and then spin and get around the puck as quickly as I can. One more? Sure. Okay, one more, guys. Good job so far. Oh, nice. there nice. you go. You nice. got to win, huh, <laughs> girl? <laughs> okay, guys, good job there. Thank you. That's pretty good Thanks. bearing down there. Yeah, great job. Nice job. Okay, we're going over to the... Shooting. The shooting drills. Okay. All right, Coach. Let's talk about uh, what's uh, what's the, the secret here to the shooting. Okay. Uh, what we're doing is we usually practice some forehands and we do the backhands. It's a lot harder for everybody to do the backhands, but we practice that too. Okay. okay. And we try to get them to you know pull the puck from behind, not just pushing it from in front of them to try to get some power on that. So kind of snap it. Yeah, snap it. Okay. And we in in our league we don't do any slap shots, so it's all wrist shots. Cool. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so what we're going to do is one each, shoot a forehand into the net. Okay, Britt? You go first, Britt, and then you. All right? Go ahead, Britt. Put it in the net. Okay, you forehand. Forehand into the net. Forehand. Good. Nice. Brittany, forehand into the net. Forehand. Trap into the net. Good. We're nice. hitting the net. I love it, too. That's good. Britt, go ahead. Look, We're hitting the net. That's beautiful. Oh, there you go. Good job. Here we go. One more. Good. Nice. Good. Good. And two more forehands, and then we'll go to the backhand. Okay? Each, Britt, go. That's it. All two at once, Britt. Yeah, there you go. Two goals. Nice. <laughs> Very good. And nice. one thing we do is we try to make sure that they hit the net because uh, if you can't hit the net, you're never going to score, right? You there. There you it's go. the same thing okay. at our level, for yeah. sure. <laughs> let's, let's turn it around now. Turn the bodies back to the net, kind of. And we're going to practice our backhands now, okay? Very good. Now, Brittany, you go first. Good. Nice. Good, 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 good. Backhand again, okay? Very good. Look at that. Everybody's hitting the net. Yeah. All right, Tom, hang on a sec. Abby, any uh, any thoughts here on uh, a little bit of hints on what these guys yeah, can try I think, to do? To... Uh, you know, even forehand or backhand, you know, you really try to use, you know, get in that bent, bent position, bend your knees a little bit. And, you know, I, a lot of times if I want to go high too, I'll start on, my, on the bottom heel of my blade and kind of roll it to the toe and then get under it and, you know, to lift it. A lot of times, you know, I try to, on the backhand, you know, if you're in your in backhand tight, you really want to try to get it over the goalie's pad if you can. So, you know, starting on the heel and then going to the toe and, and kind of angling the stick up to get it get it high. So you think that the idea is uh, with with a little bit of bent knees, you get a little more strength you, behind the More leverage. Power, you know, like leverage. anything in hockey, right. you know, whether you're skating or shooting, I think just having that hockey hockey position and having the bent knees is there really going to help you get power. The idea. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there buddy. You there you go. Go ahead and give it a go. Off the back of your stick. All right. Nice. Roll it off the back of your heel, by your heel on the stick. Yep. Start, start down here. Yep. Down here. Down nice. Put the puck down here. Down yep. a little farther. Yep. Yep. Nice. Whoa, there you look go. Look at that. Very that was good. good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. That a boy. That's nice. good. He's good. One, one, one more, Brent. Yeah. Good job. There you go. Good right. girl. Okay. Good job. All right, you guys. Job, guys. Huh? What do you think? What do you guys think about being out here in this big arena? Isn't this cool? <laughs> Huh? A lot of lights. Hey, Brittany, you like this? Yeah. Looking up here with all the seats? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, eh? Yes, sir. Good stuff, you guys. Nice to have you here. Great job. Let's go to our third group. Good job, you guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Should be our captain. So, we're coming over here to the sled hockey gang, and uh, I guess we're going to do stick handling. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Stick and handling and sled hockey is a little different than you and I are used to. Yeah. So, they use two sticks. And uh, yeah. only control them with one hand. Right. Also, though, they use the sticks to propel themselves, too. Right on. I, yeah. saw, I saw the kids come out uh, in the, in the, uh, for, the, for the anthem. Yeah. That yeah. was pretty, yeah. pretty really cool impressive. just to see that. Yep. The way they stopped and everything came in lined up with you guys on the blue line. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Right. They stopped on yeah. a dime. It was impressive to yeah. see, like, 
the maneuverability. Well, that's the hard part is you know, I try to sled myself, and going <laughs> straight lines pretty easy, but that turning and stopping is pretty difficult. <laughs> okay. All right. So go ahead, uh, Matthew. And show us what uh, what drills you would do. Let's do some passing and how you how you do this. A normal uh, drill you would see as an able body team, but we just uh, try to help them focus with the pushing and stick handling at the same right, time. So go ahead and direct. Let's like do uh, give everybody a puff instead of uh, you know, the red line of a circle here. Stick handle. So they go around the circle like you guys do too, Abby. Yeah, exactly. When you're practicing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Keep her going, guys. Good job. Great job. Good job. Keep going. Oh, Now, will you guys slide it if you're stick handling? Will we slide it back and forth between sticks, too? Yeah, they can yeah. do that, too, uh, especially like if they've got a, a closing player coming in, they can switch it out to the other stick. Yep. Yep. Uh, they could also do a, a stationary stick handling drill. Why don't you show that one, where you sit and uh, pass it back and forth between your sticks under the sled. Yeah. And, oh, then, yeah, 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 nice. and then reach out in front and do it in front of the nose of the sled, too. Extend your sticks out a little. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's nice. amazing. There you go. That's amazing to do that, eh? Wow. Okay, so you guys want to do a little skate back and forth just across the blue line, or how do you want to do it? Can you do that? Yeah. Huh? How they go? Yeah, sure. Okay. Why not? It's so cool to see this. I'll tell you right yeah. now. We got the whole ice. Yeah. A lot of room out here. Yeah. Uh, show how fast you guys can go? Yeah. Let's, Why don't you yeah, go ahead that and sounds good. turn on the engine, yeah. you guys? <laughs> huh? Go ahead. Go ahead, skate it. No, you don't need a puck. Don't even worth the buck. Just go for it. Go for it. Look at these guys. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? That's the strength terrible. it takes, too. I know. Come on back to center ice, you guys. Can we get back to center ice? That's the way. There Look at go. this big building. Look at this beautiful yeah. thing. Huh? <laughs> All right. Want to get everybody else up to center ice? Get these other gang back here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Join us at center ice. Nice job, you guys. Way to go. Great job. That hurt? Huh? Cool being out here, huh? Good job. Huh? That's amazing to watch, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get over here. Um, well, that was great. I want to thank all you guys for, uh, for being out here with us. Uh, to, to represent your different groups. Uh, this hockey game is a wonderful game, as I've often said on TV. And I know Justin feels the same way, being from Western Michigan, that uh, the, the game of hockey is the greatest game in the world. It does a lot of wonderful things for a lot of people in different uh, age brackets and different situations all over the world. But especially for us here in Detroit, and with the Red Wing group, and within Michigan, uh, the hockey town is, is the best. So. We wish you guys all really well, all the best in your in your tournaments and your games. And by the look of it, uh, smiles on their faces, Justin, is really what it's all about. Isn't yeah, it? it is. It is. It's it's great to see you guys all out here today. And you know, like like we said, hockey means so much to us. And for us to be able to connect with our community, you guys support you guys support us on a on a daily, nightly basis. And we want to try to support you guys. So it's uh, it's a great interaction connection to have with you guys. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. So good luck the rest of the year. Good luck, you guys. Thanks again. Great job. John, what an experience, I'll tell you. There's banging of the sticks. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, Nick, great. That's Goosebumps stuff. All good stuff. Down there with uh, with you and Justin Ablocator. Hockey is for everyone here at yes, uh, Little Caesars Arena, and we certainly celebrate that in, uh, in Hockey Town.